Hey Kyle. Hey Kate. What you doing? Just putting the finishing touches on this uh, installation of this new power inverter. Why did we get a new power inverter? Well, we upgraded from two modified sine wave inverters to one pure sine wave inverter. Um, this one actually failed completely, which is odd because it's the bigger of the two. Uh, this is the Krieger 2000 watt inverter. Um, I don't even think they sell this one anymore, but it got to the point where every time the fan came on, it just smelled like melting plastic. Um, and now it just completely stopped working. We have this other 1000 watt inverter that was dedicated to the fridge. And it worked great for about a month and a half. And then all of a sudden it started beeping a lot, like uh, when the compressor would come on, on the fridge. And uh, I feel like it's on its way out too, but for now I'm gonna leave it in here just as a backup. But I'm pretty sure this one should be able to handle everything. And this one is a pure sine inverter. Yep. And these guys are a... These are modified sine, sine wave inverters. Modified. Yeah, and if you want to know the difference between that, I'm sure there is a Wikipedia page that will explain it to you. Um, but the pure sine wave inverter is just way cleaner power. They're supposed to uh, be able to handle more too. So hopefully it performs well. Hopefully. But right now our refrigerator is running off of it. It's hooked up. The fan hasn't even kicked on yet. And it's probably been on for like a half hour. It's kind of hot outside. So, uh, so far so good. But it needs to be able to stay on 24 hours a day. So that's and, kind of the test. And this inverter is a 2000 watt inverter. And this little guy is a 1000 watt inverter. And our refrigerator only peaks at like 500 watts just when the the fan is turning on in it compressor, yeah. when the compressor is yeah turning so on. you know my thinking was when we got these was i would just get uh inverters that were rated way higher than what we needed so this one being uh 1000 watts its nominal rating is higher than the peak of that refrigerator turning on so i thought that that would be fine but clearly it's not so you want to save some money, I mean, as long as you're not using them 24 hours a day and really depending on them, I guess these will work for you if you're just like but charging. You're, you're not really saving money because if they don't work, yeah. then you just have to buy a new guy anyway. Yeah. If you're actually using it for like a living situation like this, I would definitely suggest going with a pure sign inverter. And really, for this inverter, that was just charging our cell phones and running this little fan that we have. And our TV. And TV our TV. Player. The TV, yeah, and that so. was on a very small fraction of the day, and then we have just like a small mini fridge, freezer that was running off the thousand watt inverter, and inverter, and that was just that little was too much. Yeah. So I think that people should just go with the pure sign from the start. That way they don't have to do what we're doing. Exactly. Also, we had to get this pure sign inverter shipped to a UPS store and wait around in this town to pick it up because when you live in a van, you don't have a mailbox. This is true. So that's another thing to consider. Try and set yourself up for success ahead of time. That way you're not staying in little towns that you don't necessarily want to be in. Yes, and I will add, I had to throw a zip tie around this because uh, it's too big. This platform that I had made over our battery bank here was made precisely to fit these two inverters. And so this one now being bigger than that one, I mean, it works, we'll be fine, but you know, these are the types of things you can't really do on the fly. Like I don't have time or resources to like make a better situation for this. So, you know, again. When all else fails, zip tie. Yeah, precisely. Also this Pearsine inverter is also 2000 watts. It is. It's supposed to peak at 4,000 watts. Okay. So we'll we'll let everybody know how that works out because it is the same wattage as the one that, yeah, I don't that know, bit the dust on us. I don't know what the peak is on this. I forgot. I want to say it was like 3,000 watts, but that is a complete bold-faced lie. <laughs> so. All right. And we'll give some details on both of the inverters that are not that great. 
so people can know if they would like to avoid them. And then we'll give the, the details on our new one and keep everybody in the loop. All right. Thanks for fixing that, Kyle. You're welcome to.